Okay, now we're going to actually work on the fingers. Right here, when the index finger comes up, see, so I got this sharp line that I did when I was working on the hand, and it needs to be blended out. This is a good color right here on the finger. So I'm going to choose the, the heel tool again with a 70% opacity. I'm going to, this spot right here is really good. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to come up here, click, and drag my brush up. Let it go. I'm going to dra click again and drag. Actually, I'm just going to do clicks. Okay. Now I'm going to try dragging it. And I'm going to do an undo and switch to my zoom tool just so I can see the finger. That looks pretty good. Okay. Go back to the. Actually, I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to go back to the heel tool. You can see where there's a shadow in here on the, of the thumb. And then there's the rip and then there's the dress. So you've got you to gotta kind of like make something up. So I'm clicking right where the shadow of the thumb meets where the index finger is. And now I'm just going to come to the right of it and slightly higher. And I'm going to drag. I don't know if this is going to work, but I figured I'd try it. It's not bad except for this white spot. So I'll click, and I'll click, and I'll click here. I'll undo that last click. up here and get in that shadow along her arm up and down see what it does When you zoom out, the thumb doesn't look bad. Of course, when you zoom in, it's not that great, but I was going to get in that close. Oh. I think we're done with the heel tool for now. Um, I'm going to zoom in on the fingers more. I'll go to the clone tool. The, op the opacity is at about 40. I'm just going to work on these lines going through the finger. A few clicks here and there. Now I've got to make the brush smaller. Okay. Yeah. I went back to the heel tool. I'm going to try and work on this line in the fingertip and in the fingernail. 
Select in this area. Selecting the shadow on the finger, and a click, and a slight move, and a click. And now you can see I got a pretty decent looking fingertip at a regular zoom level. I'm going to choose the clone tool. The opacity is on about 40. I'm just going to click on this line. couple of grooves in the fingertip. Right here the shadow's missing. Click and a slight move and a click. And I choose This area on the other side of that scratch that I did done a second ago, click a couple times. Okay. Now I've got a scratch in the shadow between the fingers. What I'm going to choose right here. And I'm going to make the brush about 50%. Right here, and follow the groove. Do individual clicks instead of a drag. Okay. Down here, I got this white spot. I'm just going to follow the angle of the shadow. Now I'm going to drag, see what happens. I'm going to drag again. Okay, I don't like this stripe right here, this line in the fingertip. So I'm going to use the heel tool. I'm going to choose this area right here. And then I'm going to come over here and do a click. And a click. And a click. And a click. Well, that's it for this lesson. In the next video, I'll show you how to replace those missing fingers. But one of the important things is don't try and fix everything. If you look when I'm zoomed way in, you'll still see a lot of wrinkles and small dirt spots that I'm leaving behind. If you try and fix everything, you'll ruin the photo. Just stick with the big gashes and really bad dirty spots, and I think you'll be happy with your results. Hope this works for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.